Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 with Zebu Nation. This is Loser to Legend with Clyde FC. And today we have for you the final game of the season. This is it. The Championship Promotion Finals second leg. We beat Queen of the South in the first leg 2-3. to three. I, I finally want to check these people out and... Uh, See if they have a nickname. The Dune Hammers. Okay, we're not going to call them that. The Dunes, maybe? I don't, know. I don't know. Queens of the South. Anyway, they just ruined this whole video with that nickname. Come on, people. What's up with that? Anyway, Queen of the South. We beat them 3-2 in the away leg. So now we come home for the second leg at home. And we're going to try to finish this out get promoted to the championship and we're going with the diamond formation yet again it has worked so far in this playoffs two wins over two teams that are probably better than us and it was all thanks to the diamond formation so we're going to give it another try um we're going to start out in counter attack again maybe we shouldn't but I think we can easily switch to control if the counterattack stops working, as it did in the previous game. Hopefully we can switch it out before we get to 2-0. Uh, but we'll just have to, uh, you know, play it by ear. So there we go. We got some fitness problems. Finlayson is back. Barry is not back. Glover has passed his fitness test, but he's... Limited to minimum of 40 or maximum of 45 minutes, so we're not going to start him. Uh, let's see, Patrick Thistle over Inverness 1 0 in the promotion playoff second round. Second round, second leg. I don't know what that's all about. I hope, I hope we don't have to play those guys because that's not going to be good for us. These guys are more like at the top of the championship trying to get in to the Premier League. That's my understanding. And hopefully that's what it is because I don't want to play Patrick Thistle. I mean, come on. Get out of here. Um, so there we are. And there's Edinburgh City and East Fife at the bottom of the division trying not to get relegated back to League 2. Again, that's just my understanding of things. Oh, it looks like Queen of the South is going with their gray uniforms. A little uh, special flair for their part. Meanwhile, we're going with our typical home uniforms of the white jersey. We're both in inconsistent form, but right now we are 2-1 to one odds favorite. Or 1-2 to two odds favorite. I don't know how that works. It, the 2 seems to be on their side. But anyway. Um... I just never understand these betting odds because it seems like we're we got the green here, so it seems like we're favored to win. But then I look down here. Anyway, anyway, let's get to the team selection. Oh, let's take out take a look at Queen of the South first. Take a look at there. They've got a suspension on the left hand side, Conley, and the rest of their team is feeling really, really bad. Hendry needs a rest. Smith injured. Clark yellow card. Davidson needs a rest. Burt injured. Conley suspended, as I mentioned. So they got a lot of issues with their team. We'll see who they actually end up trotting out onto the field. Meanwhile, we're going with pretty much the same team on the bench. We got Dakota King, Potter, Miller, Cudahy. Brought Kessie in because uh, who's its nuts? Um, Smith is suspended. Peters injured. McLaughlin injured, so they're not going to be playing. And we got Lindsay and Wilson on the bench as well. So there we go. We're going to submit that team. Potts is lacking match sharpness. We did bring Potts in at the striker position. They are sticking with their 4 4 2. Muirhead. Davidson, Clark, Devin. Hendry is still in there, so they're sticking with. You know, their injured and tired guys are going with their best team. Meanwhile, our lineup, Parks and Goal, Gray and Finlayson at the fullbacks, Gorman, Davies, Central Defense, Hartford, Sinclair, Zata, 
Midfield, Antoniazzi is going to get another try at uh, attacking center mid. And then we brought Potts in, who happens to be our leading goal scorer this season. No, most assists this season with 11 assists, 7.04 rating. So we've rotated in a lot of strikers, and they've all played fairly well at different points of the season, and Potts is no exception. So really it's not much of a downgrade bringing him in, and we're teaming him up with Diver, of course. So there we go. Pep Talk. Um, cannot allow complacency to undo our good work. Uh, Hartford is looking stressed, so let's give him a calm, um, no pressure. Now yeah, he's doubly stressed now, okay. Set opposition instructions again. This seemed to work last time, so we'll do it again. Close down and tightly mark their strikers. And then close down on their wingers. Seem to be a good pattern. So let's go. Kick off. And here we are. Wow, they got the neon yellow socks. That's an interesting look with the gray uniforms. Meanwhile, we're in our classic white jersey. Black shorts. Red socks. Here's the first highlight. Looks like they... Ooh. Um, Parks. Come on, my man. What was that? That ball was six feet outside of the goal. Anyway, Zata is going to win that header. Sinclair can't track it down, but he puts some pressure on Henderson. Davidson back to Harris. They're going to try to settle it down, get it out wide to Smith. Oh, bad cross, and it's deflected out. I'd like, I'd love to see an end to this highlight real soon. Smith sends it into Muirhead. Get him away from the ball. Harris has it. The highlight continues. There's a steal. Davis has it. He chunks it forward for Potts, who can't do anything about it. Muirhead, he had to be offside. Yes. Thank you. Okay. A minute in, we had a ton of action there. And I'm glad it ended the way it did. All right. So, again, we're up a goal. We got three away goals. So we just got to – we just need to draw. That's all we need. Five minutes. Davies heads it forward. Diver. Um, terrible pass to Potts. Here's Queen of the South. Gets it forward to Much. He seems to be a new player. I don't remember him last time. Parks is there. No, I don't want to substitute. I, I think I want to stop this. And I think I want to retain possession and work the ball in the box already. I just got a feeling on it. I didn't like the way that first attack went. They were dropping way back. And our guys were just not feeling it. So. Gonna see if we can waste time. All the time in the world. We just need to waste it. Finlayson gets a yellow card. Eighth of the season. He might be suspended for next season. I don't know. We'll see. 14 15 minutes. We got Lindsay on the bench, so that's no problem if Finlayson starts acting up. I didn't look at the crowd this game, but it looks pretty pretty good crowd. At least at least up there with last crowd. Here's Diver playing it all the way back to Parks. Parks is messing around back there. He's gonna bomb it forward a little bit. Diver can't get ahead on it, but Sinclair. Gets it down to Antoniazzi forward to Diver. Diver, terrible shot. Concentrate. Concentrate, my man. Concentrate. Thank you. Ratings are looking okay here. Smith sends it forward. Zata with the interception. Sinclair has it. Antoniazzi. They're giving us all the room in the midfield we could ever want. So slow playing it is, is working just fine. Gray forward to Diver. Diver chunks it ahead to Finlayson. Is he going to cross it? He crosses it. Easy goal for Potts. Yes. Up a goal. Up 4-2 aggregate. Oh, man. So excited for this game right now. Diver. Great pass for it. He spots Finlayson making a run. The attacking fullback. Great cross. Terrible goalkeeping. Just sort of watches it roll past him for the easy tapping goal for Potts. Like I said, our strikers are fairly interchangeable. The only one who's 
Irreplaceable is Diver. All right. Here's Hendry to Turner. Nice steal by Antoniazzi. Sinclair picks it up. Forward to Diver. Is he going to make a play? Gets it to Potts. Potts just takes a shot. Gets on goal, I guess. McCracken has to make a save. That's okay. That is okay. 24 minutes and counting. Let's just keep the clock rolling. Come on, boys. Waste all the time you need. Like I said, they're giving us a lot of room in the midfield, or at least they were. They might have tightened up by now. But I don't know that their team's got enough uh, fortitude left to press us. I mean, they got a couple of refreshed guys in there. Much, Harris, Turner, and Devlin. But a lot of their defense is going to be dying by the second half. Meanwhile, our only issue is Davies, and we got a yellow card for Finlayson. Gray drops it back. Antoniazzi centers to Diver. Not a great pass, but Diver's going to try to do something with it. He's double covered. Tries to cross it. It's deflected a little bit. Hartford has it. Centers to Antoniazzi, who takes the shot. Into the crowd. All right, 37 minutes. Let's roll on to the second half, boys. Looking good. We've each got four shots. We each got two on target. Good Gray saves one from going out of bounds. Sinclair centers to Antoniazzi. Antoniazzi looking, looking, looking. Sits it forward to Diver. Back to Sinclair. Interesting pass. Sinclair sends it in on the goal. I would prefer you not give up a shot to our defensive central midfielder. Um, Sinclair, yeah. Eight long shots. Not so good. Diver on the meantime. Had, eh, three long shots. Okay. How does he hit those long shots? He's got three long shooting. How does he hit them? I don't know. But he does. All right. One minute of stoppage time. We're almost there. Five seconds to go. Let's go. Get to halftime. Davies is real tired. Finlayson's got the red card. Or the yellow card. And that's a problem because he's our reserve. Although we do have Kessie on the bench now. We got a couple of options there for reserve uh, defender, but still. I'm not liking the way our defense is looking right now. Um, happy with the way things are going. Keep it up. That's fine. And pep talk analysis. I think we got Finlayson is booked. We'll tell him to ease off things momentarily. Um, do we want to make any subs here? I don't think so. Not at the moment. Gonna let Davies play on into the second half. And then I guess we'll bring in Kessie and Lindsay in as the second half goes on. Team instructions, let's go to control. Try to slow things down a bit. Tempo normal. Let's go. Start this second half. Diver. So, second half. Again, we just we just need to hold out. I'm okay parking the bus, even though this isn't a really bus parking type of formation. It's more, if they just give us that space in the midfield, we'll waste all day. And I'm happy with that. Just got to keep an eye on our defense. And not let them get any fluky goals to build some momentum. You know, Penalty kick or free kick or something like that. Set piece of some kind, corner. 50 minutes. Looks like something is about to happen. Waiting for the next highlight. Oh, they've... Are, wow, they subbed out much. Their guy who was actually fit brought in McFarlane. Well, he's pretty fit, but... I mean, I guess they're not going to sub out Muirhead, but it just seems like an interesting sub. To sub out the one guy who's fit and who has had a good attempt on us. Here's Gray. Sends one in back post. Gorman can't get there. It's like Queen of the South is going to start a counterattack. Harris gets it forward, but Sinclair is there defensively. Gray is going to pump it forward to Diver. He's beats one. Oh, my God. What was that? I mean, he beat one man nicely on the back line, but then he took sort of the worst shot in history. All right, we're at the 60-minute point. Um, gonna make these subs. Bring in Finlayson. And bring in Kessie. 
But we don't really have much else. If somebody else on that defensive line gets injured, we're mostly out of luck. We could move Hartford down, I suppose. Hmm. Seven jumping reach, not really a great option. He does have 12 tackling. But that is a total emergency situation. So let's hope it doesn't come to that. We gotta get that yellow card out of there. Cause that's a big, you know, something that could happen. Okay, Gorman gets a yellow card, so. I guess now we're just gonna have to live with it. Alright, boys, here we go. 64 minutes and counting. 65. Here's their first attempt, and look who it is, McFarlane. I made fun of that substitution, but they've evened it up. We're still winning on aggregate, and we're still winning on away goals. McFarlane with the header. Okay. That's not good news. As soon as we make our defensive substitutions, they score a goal almost immediately. So I'm not happy about that. But the clock is rolling, so this is okay. We still got a one goal margin. 68 minutes, waiting for the next highlight. Yellow card on Potts. That's fine. They're going to quick kick it. They're going to try to do something. Muirhead wins it down to Henderson. Back to Muirhead. Gets it out wide to Harris. Oh, we can't get the steal. McFarlane again. Again with the shot over the goal. Okay. Oh, 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 ah. Okay, I got an idea. McFarlane is their new substitute, and we are not marking that sneaky fella. There we go. That's why he's able to get free and cause havoc. All right. 70 minutes. Clock is rolling. Here's Gray with a free kick. Bounces it off the defense. Sends it back in wide. They're going to make some more substitutions. Miller and Clark are in. Millar at the central defense. And, oh, it looks like Gilchrist is in for Clark. Okay. So they've subbed out both their central defenders. I guess that's a good move. Their fullbacks are still dead tired. So is their most of their midfield. Here's a free click, free kick. Sinclair with a yellow card. Harris has it. Did Parks tap that wide? I think he did. Didn't necessarily need to, but I guess better safe than sorry. Here we go. Free kick near side. Smith sends it back post. Gilchrist to Donaldson. Oh, what a save by Parks on the rebound. Hartford has it. Hartford. Looking, looking, looking. He's tripped. Get out of here. That better be a red card. Nope, that's just going to be a yellow. First yellow of the season for T Kyle Turner. He's a choir boy. All right, 77 minutes and counting. Let us go. Your head looking tired. Everybody on their team is looking pretty tired. Waiting for next highlight. Our ratings are pretty decent. Gorman not so good. Got a yellow card, 6.4. Gray now has a yellow card. Everybody on the team's got a yellow card. Davidson is injured. They've already used their three substitutes, so they're down a man. And Tony Ozzy with the throw in. Far side. Hartford has it in the penalty area. Centers to Sinclair. Sinclair drops it back to Kessie. Kessie bounces it off Zata, but Hartford picks it up. And Tony Ozzy out wide to Lindsay. Lindsay to Zata. Forward to Antoni Ozzy with the shot. Bounces it off of something. I think it hit the goalkeeper. He had a very delayed reaction. That was kind of funny. All right, here we go. Zata with the corner. That's new. He sends it back to Potts. Potts centers to Sinclair. Sinclair shoots it. Over. Somehow that's our play. I don't. I didn't design that play, but that's how it works every time. Here's the throw in. Antoni Ozzi, far side. Gets it to Zata at the edge of the penalty area. Sinclair takes a shot. No good. Gets it back. Gets it out wide. He does to Gray. Gray. Gray is going to make a play, possibly. His dribbling in, is not good. So I'd prefer if he didn't do this, what he's doing. This is, this is no good. Oh, but he gets a penalty out of it. Good job, I guess. 
86 minutes the clock is rolling. We didn't get a highlight out of that, but that's fine. Hartford is looking tired. We could bring in Cudahy for the final minutes. Five minutes of extra time. Minute and a half down. Here's Smith. Sends it forward to Turner. Deflection. Ah. Your head offside. Get out of here. 92 minutes. Rolling. Clock is rolling. 94 minutes. One minute left. One minute left. Gorman. Yes. Full time. Where's the confetti? There it is. Look at that. Champions. We are the champions. This is the first time I've seen confetti in this uh, this series. I'm going to let it linger. Look at that. The Clyde Faithful. Look at our boys walking to the corner to celebrate with the fans. I'm going to sing some songs. Outstanding. Outstanding. Gorman, 6.2 rating, but he held in there. Not the best ratings you've ever seen for a, a winning team. I'll give you that. I don't think we even got player of the match. No, Ross Smith got player of the match for a 7.9 rating and an assist. Even Potts, who had the goal, only had a 6.9 rating. So we really just held on to win at the end there. But we won 4-3 in aggregate. And uh, it's outstanding. Um, Well done, guys. That was a great win for us. Leave the match. Yes. I don't know if we get any money for this. I don't think so. But, you know, moving up to the championship. Achievement unlocked. Unstoppable force. We're just unlocking all kinds of achievements. Uh, Looks like Inverness beats Patrick Thistle 2-0 in extra time. To win 2-1 in aggregate. We got the 1-1 draw. Outstanding. First leg triumph helps Clyde pass Queen of the South. Clyde win Ladbrook's championship relegation playoff final. Clyde promoted. Look at that. We got a little trophy going on there. Aaron Davies was our key player with a 7.1 average. 7.01 average. It was a season of unlikely yet jubilant success for the Bully Wee, who got off to a tremendous start in August that propelled them to second place and provided them with a platform to go on and secure promotion. Board sets the initial budget for a lot of money that we're not going to use. Lindsay's injured. Okay, that's fine. Asian Junior praised by the faithful. Hopefully we're now part of their favorites. Fans were justly proud of the team gained promotion from League One. Fans and ex experts alike were unanimous that the person responsible for the team's success was Zebu Nation Jr. One fan commented that Nation Jr. at the helm. He felt anything was possible. Uh, we finally got some praise from the board. They look forward to see the team playing at a higher level next season. Um... Ensuring that a club of Clyde stature would no longer be playing in League One. Squad bonus paid out. Oh boy, we just paid out 71000 That's a lot more money than I think we can afford, but whatever. The boys earned it. So we're currently negative 310000 but we've been worse than that. You know, we could, uh, we could cover for that. Let's see. Let's just see. Are we favorites? No, maybe next season. I mean, come on. We just got promoted to the championship. If we don't get favorites after this, I mean, it's like, what's the point? Why are we even doing this? How can we become a legend if the fans never accept us and never uh, make us one of their favorites? Scott Gray picked up an automatic suspension, as I figured. Um, Clyde player named to the League One Team of the Year. Davies wins the Team of the Year. There's... Sunny Zaday up there for Brecken. Peter had had their right wing going on. Todorov on defense. That's hilarious. He's their target man who can also play central defense. He's got this whole triangle situation or arrow situation going on here. So they snuck in another striker into the formation by putting him at central defense. I see what you're doing there, Ladbrokes League One. Just trying to get more strikers 
on the team. All right. I guess we end it there. Uh, we could come back for a season-ending video, maybe. Or we could just do it now. I mean, should we? Should we? Yeah, why not? So we got our best 11. Should be fairly familiar to you. Parks and goals. Stewart, Finlayson at the uh, fullbacks. Morrison, Davies in the uh, central defense. Cudahy, Barry, Miller. King on the left-hand side. That's an interesting maneuver. Dallas and Peters up front. Um, two players have been considered good enough to enter the best 11. Finlayson and King. Interesting. Interesting. Best 11, where are they now? Who cares? End of season awards. Jordan Sinclair wins the player of the season. Our defensive central midfielder. That's interesting. It's a very close race, though, between he and Davies. 35% for Sinclair, 30% for Davies. Zata also in there, 23%. Goal of the season, Diver versus Brecken. It was last week, or two weeks ago, should say, versus uh, Brecken in the playoffs. Yeah, we remember this goal. This was his, uh, his rocket from the semicircle from our favorite play, Sinclair to Diver and just... Bang, greatly placed shot. And that, that was an important goal. I think that was the goal that made it 2-1 and sort of got us back into that match. So, yeah, I'll give that to him. Signing of the season, Jordan Sinclair. We got on a free from Forfer. Young player of the season, Diver, at 23 years old, I guess. Stats, top goal scorer, Critchley. He didn't even play at the second half of the season, so they just saw how... You know, what a great start he got out to at the beginning of the season all that, all those many months ago. Peters had the highest average, Potts with the most assists. So again, our top three strikers there. Lockheed, best pass completion. Again, he's another guy who didn't play the second half of the season because he was injured. The torn hamstring, I think it was. Most player of the match awards, Peters and Diver. Most yellow cards, Finlayson and Smith. Yeah, I can see that. Worst discipline, Dakota King had one red card. All right. Season review. We lost in the third round of the Scottish Cup to Queen of the South. Aha. So we paid them back for that Scottish Cup loss. I'll, you know, I'd definitely take a loss in the Scottish Cup for a win in the promotion playoffs. So no problems there. Knocked out in the group stage of the Betford Cup. Finished off my Iron Brew soda, at least that one bottle I was drinking for the playoffs. So now I've refilled the bottle with water, which is what I like to do. Save on dishes. Anyway, we won the relegation playoff final. We were runner-up in League One. Lost in the third round of the Iron Brew Cup. Average attendance, we broke the 1,000 mark. 12% full, 1,038 fans. 31 players used. So we used less players this season, actually. Like the last couple of seasons, we've been around 36 or 37 players. Which was probably way too much, but still. 31 is still a lot. Match of the season, 3-0 victory over Queen's Park. Are they the Spiders? I gotta see. I gotta look. I gotta check. They are the Spiders. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows such things? I'm sure it's on their Wikipedia page. But anyway, moment to forget. 3-0 loss to Dumberton. Yeah, that was real bad. Where are they now? Who cares? Squad Dynamics. Miller, Peters, and Davies. How many of those guys will be around next season? I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Influential players. Barry, Finlayson, King, Leach, Cudahy, Critchley. Another group of guys who might not be here next season. End of season team meeting. Discuss plans for next season. Um, Let's see. Let's take a look at these guys. Please that seeing movement regards to being sold. Miller wants to be sold, I guess. Um, Barry wants to commit to the club. Dallas wants to commit to the club. Finlayson. Parks. Hmm. Nobody's talking about next season. Cudahy, Zata want to commit to the club. Gorman. 
lot of guys we could re-sign. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, congratulations on getting promoted. It's a fantastic achievement. Uh, I believe you have the ability... No, mid-table. I just want to stay up. Um... Uh, I'm optimistic we can avoid a fight against relegation and stay up comfortably. Um, I believe we can avoid getting into a relegation battle. I think we're in a good... Um, mm, there's so many options here. Um, I think we'll be in a good position to avoid considered relegation certainty. Okay, you're right. We can quash all the talk of automatic relegation if we're in the same page and work together. Okay, everybody liked that. That's exactly what I was after. And yet still some people, their morale tanked. I don't understand. This is a bug, right? Everybody on the squad was like, yeah, let's avoid relegation. Except for apparently these guys, who hate everything I just said. With the deepest pits of their soul, they hated that. So I don't know. These guys didn't care, apparently. Most of the team. Only, only McCullough is like, yeah. Alright, good job. Good speech, boss. End of season confidence review. Look at... Harsh, man. 63%. 63%. We freaking got promoted and just 63%. Uh, how are our injuries this season? Not so bad. We had a couple of long-term ones. John Forrest, who's a youth player we don't care about. McCullough is injured for three months. Lockheed for two months. Milne, another youngster that we called up and then got injured. So not a lot of real bad injuries. Training is fine. This is how my training always looks. I don't know how yours usually looks. Wait, wait, wait. wait. There's somebody who's unhappy. Who's unhappy? El Buzzetti. Hmm. Individual. So, normally whenever somebody complains about training, I change their training. I guess I missed El Buzzetti, but anyway. Squad is now on vacation until June 17th. So, I guess that's where we're going to end it. And we'll come back for next season in the championship. Do a little preseason spectacular. So until then, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. There's a team they call the Clyde Who will fill your heart with pride Dressed up in the red and black We are now sign on the back They've a winger and a keeper And a great big carpet sweeper